Hi everyone, welcome to my studio. My name is Hannah and I'm the dyer behind Rosif Island. Rosif Island is a small hand dyeing business that I run from my home in northern Tasmania. I have created this little video to work as a bit of a help and just for a bit of fun for the big wall show that is coming up. 17th till 20th of July 2020 and um, this video is just a way for me to show some of the things that are available in my shop in my virtual store and just for you to be able to see things on video instead of just flat photos on the screen and I have try to show you different colorways and combining them with other colorways and just show you my different yarn bases and different things that I have available. I do have a podcast on YouTube and it's also available through my website rosifisland.com and I do a lot of knitting. I was First of all, I was a knitter, and then I was a spinner, and then I was a dyer. And knitting is a really big part of my my life. And knitting and what I like to knit is a big influence on my dyeing and what I dye. I often think a step ahead. I get inspired by patterns and different things that I want to knit and think about what yarn I would love to knit a pattern with or a design with. So for example the the jumper that I'm wearing is a love note by Tin Can it, and I have knitted that in my own hand dyed yarn in a fingering weight and a mohair silk and this is just one of many jumpers that I have made out of my hand dyed yarn and uh, it's it's just the best the best Thing, the best feeling ever when you have created something from thinking about a colour and dyeing it and then knitting it up in a garment and just creating something that is unique and exactly what you would like to have. So I just wanted to say hello at the start of this and then I thought I'll just show you videos of all my yarn laid out here on the table in my studio and um, hopefully it will be an experience similar to walking through a show and a market and looking through the different market stalls and picking things up and looking a bit closer and and um, I'll just try to create that um, something similar to that for you because just shopping on a flat screen might not be the most fun so I hope you enjoy and thank you so much for visiting my store and my shop here we have a table full of some of the sock yarn that I have in my shop all of these colorways I have available mostly in four to five skeins uh, some of them I only have a couple left at the moment they are all mostly repeatable colorways I thought I'd go through them and so you can see what they look like on video and I'll try to match up some nice combinations for you on this side I have all my delicious sock yarn This is the dark special blend and the special blend. Today's highlight is a new fun pop of colour. Chartreuse yellow. Hot potato, fun, well, maybe not fun, but quite a useful tonal warm brown. That's nice to combine with other colours. This is moon shadow a new colorway denim blue i have that on a few different bases my silver colorway tonal gray this is 
gold leaf, golden leaf, and gold rush. They're quite similar. Golden leaf is darker and it goes more to a brown. This is my new terracotta colorway. Has some speckles of brown and red in it. Goes quite nice with the hot potato and with the silver. It's my sea spray colorway. Mr. Peacock, a new colourway, a blue with black and red speckles. This is a new tonal red, almost variegated, I guess. I'll call it that um, blood red. And then similar to that is this one. It's my Pinot colourway. It goes more towards a pink purple. But the same with the darker and, and lighter bits. This is the meant to be colourway. That would be fun with the sea spray and the hot potato, maybe. What else have we got? I have some purples here. This is lavender swirl. Lots of layers of purples. And it's next to a misty lavender colourway. It also has a lot of different shades of the purple, but it's lighter than the lavender swirl. And some speckles, I'll do them later. This is Phoebe's Dream. Fun colourway. This is Storm and Fire, which is a um old colourway that I brought back. Greys with speckles of brown, red and yellow and that's fun together with the terracotta and the silver and even with the yellows. So that's that one and other speckles, this is reef, light blue with greens, yellows and pink. This is my white opal colourway, a light pink with um, purple, yellow and black speckles. That is um, a nice colourway to mix with purples. Like that. With blues and yellows. This is a new colourway I call Eddie. I'm not sure why, it's just the name that came to my mind. And it's actually the white opal colourway, but dyed with a different technique which ended up being a completely new colourway. And I think this is beautiful with a brown or a golden or a grey <laughs> or a terracotta. So that's some of the delicious sock. I have a few, quite a few different tonals, some variegated and some Pickles. Here we have some of my dandy sock yarn. Some lighter speckles. This is the garden, cottage garden colorway. Light green with pink and green speckles. It's next to the Greek island colorway, which is a very pale pink with blue and green speckles. Here we have the silver colourway again. This is a new colourway called Aerodynamic. It has turquoise and purple with the grey. And here's the reef colourway, which looks completely different on this base. Light blue with speckles of pink, green and yellow. This is the shark attack colourway. Variegated greys with red speckles. White opal again. North pole. It's a fun variegated colourway. And that would go cool very nicely with the new um this is aubergine colourway. But on this yarn base it came out a bit more grey than purple. But I still call it aubergine. 
and this is my Calm Waters colorway, purple and blue. I've been knitting with that, you might have seen. This is Toxic Grape. That will look nice with aerodynamic and silver. Here I have a brand new colorway. I call it Mountain Top. But this is a bit for fun for the big wool show. I dyed it in a way so that when you skein it up, you get a darker half of the skein and the lighter half of the skein. Just will be quite variegated, even um, pooling. I just like how these skeins look, but it's not something that I normally do because I try to make colorways that are more even when you knit them up. Here's a new colorway, Vampire Love, I call that one. It's a nice grey with red speckles, red and purple speckles. This is my Raindrops colourway, a blue with purple and green speckles. If you can see that. Magician's Vest, purple and rust variegated. Light Magnolia. Colours are changing a bit. And this is Princess Lilies some speckles of purple. That would also go well with the toxic grape. Then I have the my red brick colorway. This is a new colorway called Golden Chai. I think we're losing the light a bit here. It's um, a warm yellow with some more brown. This is the Misty Sunrise, which has a bit of red in it and it more yellow, less brown than the Golden Chai. Then we have some fun bright colourways. This is my Llama Corn colourway. It's crazy variegated and fun colours. And then we have Tropical Garden, new colourway. Fun and bright. And I think they sort of all go... well together quite fun and I like how the red brick goes with the blues and the purples and the grey the aubergine yeah, so that's some of the dandy sock colourways Here I have some of my other hand dyed yarn that I thought I'd show you as a part of showing you what's available in my virtual stall and my shop for the big wool show. On this side of the table I have my brand new yarn base, the Merino and Linen. It's 90% Merino, Superwash Australian merino and 10% linen and it's a single ply yarn and you can see on a light color you can't really see the linen but on a dark color you can see the white bits of the linen come through it gives it a really nice textured look and um, it's taking color beautifully and um, it's very nice to knit with so it's like a single ply merino but it just has that little bit of extra interest so let's start and see what colorways i have dyed up so far you might recognize some of them from other yarn bases this one here is my pinot colorway and black oil is an old favorite aubergine sky so lots of uh, tonals and just they have a lot of depth because they're all dyed in at least three layers um, but they still would give an even look and not a crazy variegated. Some speckles this is Vampire Love a grey with some red speckles this one is Midnight 
a grey with yellow and pink splashes and speckles. This is cave. It's a grey and brown tonal variegated almost. This one is a new one. It's called, I call it um, dried rose petal. It looks a bit browner here than it is. It has a bit of a pink. It's, it's um, sort of a faded pink with a brown and it does have a little bit of red splashes here and there. Okay, what else? Another speckle, bear paws. It's another one that I've had before. And white opal is also the one that you might recognize. Then I have hot mustard, which is a must color with speckles of purple and red. Acid is a yellow with a gray over dye. Vintage rose. It's sort of a dirty pink and has a bit of yellow speckles in it and a bit of brown. Smaragd, which is the Swedish word for emerald. So that's a really nice deep green. And then we have, I have to try to remember the names. Peony, I call this one. It's a beautiful pink tonal with a few speckles of red in there. I just like to give that extra dimension by adding something a little bit unexpected and not sort of taking that flatness away from the colorway. And this one is Sorbet. Fun coral pink. Forget Me Not, which is a blue with green speckles. And the last one, which I named Succulent. This is the succulent colorway. It's a light green with a bit of gray tints. So there's a lot of option of, of um, mixing and matching these skeins. I have a lot of speckles that will go with the tonals. For example, bare pores would go nicely with sky and pinot. Sorry. Or sky and peony. White opal goes well with black oil or aubergine. And midnight goes well with the reds and purples and the yellows. Call that yellow. And vintage rose goes well with these lighter colours, the succulent or the forget-me-not. And the more brighter peony will go really well with cave, for example. So there's a lot of mixing and matching that you can do with these colourways. And they're also really beautiful just on their own. Now here I have some of my hemp merino yarn. It's a 30% hemp with 70% Australian superwash merino. And I have shown you this before. It's also a new base, but it is available, has been available in my shop for a um, couple of weeks. You can see that the hemp gives the nice tweedy textured look in the skeins. And I have a lot of tonals. I find that I prefer to do dye these as, as tonals, still several layers of, of dye, um, which gives a nice depth to the colours. But because it has the tweedy look, I don't want to go variegated or too crazy. I have tried that too, and it can come out, out really nice, but I I, um, I really like how it comes out with the more tonal look. So the colours I have are Gloria, the pink, grey, purple, Sky is the blue, 
lagoon is this turquoise has a bit of dark areas in it. A nice bright fun green, grass green and an olive green. And then I have mustard, I believe this one is called, and teddy. It's a nice brown tone. And starting here, this is a new one. It's rusted red. I call that one has um, reds and browns in it. This is cranberry. It's a pinky red, so it's a bit more red, a bit more red than the Gloria. Silver, nice silver grey colourway. And then I have two variegated here that I only have one available in each, but I thought I'd just show you what it looks like when you add a bit more colour and variation. This is Grello, which is, is silver and yellow, creating a green tint. And this is Sunset, which is a pink with purple and yellow. So I think all of these colours go really well together. They just have that look of all belonging together. But I really like combining like a silver with a bright blue or purple or pink or the rusty red or doing the same with a brown, combining the brown with any of the, the colours. It's really fun. So that's the merino hemp. And the merino hemp is the only DK weight yarn that I have available at the moment. I think it's very suitable for um, hats and cows and mittens and things like that. I mean it would also work for a, a jumper but I'm more seeing them as using for smaller items. I don't have any other DK weight in my shop at the moment. I can't have everything in stock and I think my thought is that with a fingering you can always go thicker with by doubling it but if you have a DK weight you can't go thinner so having fingering weight yarn gives just so many more possibilities I also have a few little other bits and pieces in my shop just for the big wool show, I have dyed up some self-striping yarn, which is not something I do very often because it is very time-consuming. Um, but um, basically when the pandemic happened and I was working from home and schooling the children from home, I was under the illusion that I would have a lot more time and I started um, making warping for a lot of cell striping yarn and of course did not have all that time that I thought I would but I have been able to get a few ready for the big wool show so here are some of those They're very limited numbers I don't have a lot of them so there's a bright coral mustard purple and then a more uh, variegated purple And there's a green, light pink, light grey, and dark grey. So these are all four stripes, but with these two, with the green, there's two stripes that are the same. In this one, there's a dark green and a light green, and between the light green and dark green is this grey, tonal grey. It has a little bit of other colours in the grey. And then similar to that one is this one that also has the light green and dark green and has this variegated brown. Brown, pink and green, I think, in between. So of the four stripes, two are in the, bro the brown and then one dark, gray, uh, dark green and one light green. Here are some little shorty socks that I have made out of the self-striping yarn available in my shop. And then also 
like I normally have. I have some mini skeins. I have the Tropical Punch set, which are these five. And then I have some other just bit of fun colour, not um, any specific colourway or collection. Just a few fun mini skeins. The last thing I'll show you from what's available in my shop is some mohair and some shawl kits that I have available. These are what I have available in mohair silk at the moment. I don't have a lot anymore. It might be something that I'll get in some more stock of and dye up. But this is what's available at the moment. Blue is my favourite colour, Calm Waters, Magnolia, Reef, Blue with Speckles, Eclipt, got nice tonal green, I think this is the Because of You, nice bright pink, and Cottage Garden I think this is, just pale colour with speckles of green, pink and yellow. And then, I can't remember the name of this one, but it's a nice coral colour. So there's not a lot, but there's a few of them and you don't really need much when it comes to the no hair silk. One skein goes a really long way. And then I have some shawl kits this is one shawl kit uh, dyed on merino single, so 100% Australian superwash merino single ply. In the set, there's one for 100 gram skein and five mini skeins. And I did um, knit up a pattern, but it's not a pattern that I have written instructions or details instructions for. <laughs> So I just decided to put together these sets because there's just a lot of there's a lot of patterns out there that you can use them for shawls or you can even use them for something completely different. But I thought these really nice um, beige brown would go would be nice with the brighter colours. I have another one on the single merino. It's a speckled light green with these fun yellow and green speckles and then go with these tonal greens and more blue green and then I have one set dyed up on my delicious sock base so it's a variegated 100 gram skein and then the colors in the variegated skein are the ones of the mini skein so there's five mini skeins in the purple, greens and yellow and red, pink and those colours are the same as what's in the full skein. So that's something you can create something fun with. So that's the short kits. Thank you so much for visiting my virtual market stall and my shop. I hope it was enjoyable and maybe useful to be able to see a lot of my colorways and yarn on, on video and next to each other and just creating a little bit of a different experience than what it is to have a look at photos on a web store. I certainly have enjoyed getting all my yarn out and playing with the different colours and combinations. It's been great and I do have some new ideas now and um, hopefully I'll get some time for more knitting and um, be able to create some of those things that I have been imagining. It's a lot of dream knitting going on in my life. <laughs> so thank you so much for watching and enjoy the, the big wool show. Bye!